Hi everyone, welcome back. No, come on now. If you're new to this channel, welcome. The year of 2008, I was in the eighth grade. It was the first day of school, literally. First hour. As soon as I walked into the classroom, I noticed the teacher. He was a teacher that I remember seeing when I was in the seventh grade. This teacher stood out to me because it was an altercation in the hallway. And this teacher had slammed this kid against the locker really, really hard. That image was always in my mind. A little scared. Because I seen the aggression that he had towards the, the seventh grader. Slammed him against the locker like a bodyguard. So as I'm walking to my seat, you know, just picking a seat, I was going to sit in the back because I started noticing kids now. I started noticing it's this Mexican guy named Tino. He was in my class in the seventh grade. One of the people that was mainly bullying me when I was in the seventh grade all the time. He would like make fun of me and everything. And, you know, I put up with the shit the whole seventh grade. Like, I literally put up with his bullshit. He was, like, picking with me because I was, like, quiet and to myself. And I wasn't as, like, I don't know, like, loud or outspoken in a way. So, I guess he felt like he could, he could pick on me. I just sat in a seat. I seen him look at me, and I'm just like, please, not this year. Like, I'm in the eighth grade. I'm, I'm growing up. I'm about to be 14 years old. I don't want no problems. I just want to, you know, go to school. I was fresh as fuck. Okay, eighth grade, you're not going to be one of those pushover. I was never no pushover. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I was never a pushover. But with this guy, Tino, I think I was like a little intimidated because he hung around people that was like really, really popular. Greatest fighters in the school. Like they're like their karate children or something. They were all known the circle that he ran with. So I really never wanted no issue with him because I'm like, dang, if I get started with him, it's gonna draw attention to everyone else and they're gonna like pick with me and, and fuck with me. And I always had a very, very dark temper inside of me that never been let loose. That's what no one around me never, like, knew. You know, people, they judge a book by its cover. And, like, oh, they're quiet. I can I can push, I can fuck with them. I can push them around. I can talk all my shit to them. But not knowing, I can tick, tick, boom. In, like, a second. I can literally tick, tick, boom like a bomb, atomic bomb going off and destroying everything. It's first hour. It's the first day of school, and this boy Tino is getting started with me already. Playing around with my fingernails, which they need to be clipped. The teacher had walked out of the classroom. He didn't even let the class know. He just, like, walked out, I guess. Now the boy Tino get up. I guess he thinks this is his chance to fuck with me because the teacher is not in sight. But the other kids in the class, they just giggling and laughing. And mind you, these... A lot of these people I was like cool with. I used to hang in a circle with them. I had some of these people numbers. Talk to you. Tino get up and come walking over to me, get behind me, and boom, like really, really, really hard. It really ticked off my temper, y'all. I was like, I was not gonna be no quiet pushover that day. When he did that, it triggered my temper spot, literally. I don't like my ass being smacked when guys or clients you know smack me in my ass really really hard for some reason anger like it makes me really really irate because i really feel like you trying to hurt me so i got up so quick y'all i got up so quick i turned into gene off of x-men i like pushed everything over everything went flying i get the fuck up like y'all i'm not having it i am really really irate I'm in black on mode at this point. Anything goes at this point. I get up. I grab that bitch, Tino. No! 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 Bitch, bitch, bitch. I said talk to me, damn it, or else I'm gonna throw you in the fire. You stupid bitch, you filthy slut. Did you fuck with me?
bitch, bitch. I am whooping him, honey. <laughs> and I always was, I always fought like a girl. And um, you know that was a thing people were saying that about me after words. Like I fought like a girl, but I was whooping that bitch motherfucking ass. I was whooping, I was whooping his ass, and he gagged boots. Didn't realize I was gonna go off like that. In the midst of me whooping him in every way, shape possible, we windmilling, we cat scratching, we doing the most. Like, we're, we don't give a fuck at this point. We're clawing the nigga. I'm scratching his eyeballs while well, I was trying to anyway. But I had grabbed his shirt and I just went to boom, 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 bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> The teacher ran in from somewhere. He supposed to have been in the class. He ran in from out of the hallway and grabbed me. Just like I was telling you about that, the little boy that he snatched up the year prior, the teacher did that to me. He grabbed me so hard and threw me to the chalkboard. The teacher grabbing the 16 year old student and forcibly pushing him into a wall. And I grabbed that teacher head and I just started boom 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 I started pounding on him like a panda bear and I was just knocking the scents and the lights and the daylights out of him I was like boom 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 <laughs> it's not funny but it is f funny now because this was a big thing I was on the news and everything for, from this situation um, this this was a big thing in 08 so I'm I'm beating the teacher down so the security guards come running from out the hallway and snatch me up and you know drag me out of the classroom and like my eyes I feel like my eyes was pitch black even though it probably wasn't and I was yelling I was screaming I was just like in blackout mode I never acted this way, never been this way in my entire life, no matter how many altercations I got into prior, I never been this turned up ever. So I'm just screaming like, bitch, I'm gonna kill you, bitch, you got me fucked up, bitch, you got me fucked up, bitch, 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 bitch. Like, I'm just going belligerent and everyone is like, the kids around me is scared and stuff, they don't know what is going on. I feel like the kids thought it was something like that so they were like really really scared they took me to the office and you know they just trying to calm me down they called my mom so my mom was at work she came up to the school the teacher I seen him um, walk by in the hallway he had to take off for the rest of the day uh, on his first day of school Mr. Mack I will never forget he was a bald-headed tall Middle-aged man, I would say he probably was around in his 40s at the time. He was holding a towel over part of his head, and in the back of his head, it was like all red, and it was, it was bleeding. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't know I was beating the daylights out of him like that. And he had to go to the hospital. Oh, the school, they expelled me. They said I was expelled for the rest of the year, and I had to go to the Board of Education. Oh, I think the Board of Education expelled me. I just know I was expelled, okay? Yeah, my mom came and picked me up, and she wasn't screaming and yelling or nothing like that. That's one thing I can say about my mom. She always been so supportive. When I tell you guys, like in previous videos, that my mom always been there for me, not just transition. She always, somebody had to be doing something to me for me to react like that. She knew I was a no trouble child. That upcoming news, I think it was 11 o'clock news that morning, I was on a news. It showed my school and it said a, a student went belligerent and it started attacking the teacher and sent him to the hospital. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And I was in a newspaper too. They, it was like a big thing in my time. I'm like, oh my God, I'm like famous. Like, this is crazy. If you was a bully at your school, shame on you. Shame on you. I didn't really fuck up the boy or put him in a hospital. But it just translated over to the teacher. 
had to schedule a hearing to go to the Board of Education. The table, it was a long, big round table. Men in suits, eight of them around the table with the decision if they're going to allow you back in public schools, allow you in schools at all. You know, they come up with those decisions. They came up with the decision that I was expelled for the rest of the year. And I was low-key happy because I didn't want to go to, I didn't want to go there anyway and I didn't want to deal with them children. I was homeschooled for like two months and then I went to an alternative school for the rest of the year. I was let back into public schools for my high school year. I sent that boy Tino to walk past me like I was a ghost because he knew the motherfucking deal. Bitch, pussy, you knew you was going to get them motherfucking hands how. Definitely don't condone children putting their hands on other students or teachers, okay? I'm just expressing and telling y'all my stories so I'm, I can laugh and geek and cackle about it all I want to. It's my stories. Keep your hands to yourself and no one won't put hands on you. Anyway, over the course of years, I was 18 years old. I saw him too. I was walking past him and I was like, oh, he got fine, honey. I'm gonna say I was about, I had, I couldn't be no more than, than five, six years old. I was over my grandma house where she used to stay when she was alive, I, I repeat to her. My family all was up over there. I don't remember why we was over there, but clearly it was a, it was an event for us all to be up over there. Me just being myself and being younger, I always liked it to, you know, wander off and go outside. My grandma had a really, really big backyard that leads. It was a fence around it, and it was it it led all the way back to the neighbor's backyard that was like in the back of her it was fenced off though i went all the way back there and i used to really hate going back there because it used to have a lot of bugs a lot of spiders spiders it was like a spider tree they was like one of those see-through looking or like beige it was a lot of those spiders on this like pine type of tree i went all the way back there to to the fence quite a distance from my grandma house but it's still her yard I saw this other little boy and I guess I wanted to like play with him or talk to him so he came all the way to the other end of the fence and I don't really remember what we was talking about I don't know what was going on with the child bending down to tie my shoe because my shoelaces was untied next thing you know I just felt something hit me like really really hard and I started screaming belligerently. They actually went my over there cousin, and beat him the fuck sisters, up. My sisters, my mama, my aunties, everybody ran up out of the house towards the fence. And they just going in on this little boy like, what the fuck did you do to my baby? Bitch, you got me fucked. <laughs> did you just hit my baby with a brick? Uh-uh, little boy, I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass. Bitch, you got me fucked up. Hitting my motherfucking son like that. Bitch, I got, bitch. Like, I'm just hearing all of that, so I'm like, oh my God, the little boy hit me with a brick. And I looked at him, because I'm just screaming. I wasn't really paying attention. It just hurt it really, really bad. And somebody said, call the ambulance, call the ambulance. I had blood gushing out of my head. So the ambulance came, and they put me in a, um, on, a, on a stretcher in the ambulance. And I got rushed to the hospital. I was sedated. I had got stitches in my head. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe I forgot about this story. I wonder if the stitch is still there. The little boy threw a fucking brick at me and bust me in my head, literally. Like, I could have been dead. So I'm like, oh my God, has that, me getting hit with a brick in my head, has it affected me now? Because I feel like I'm a little slow sometimes. So I'm like, I'm a lover, not a fighter but I will get with the get-go. I am TTG. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoy like story times like this, I have mm, about 15 of them written down. We just did two so far. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys shortly on the next video. Bye.